Here I will update my password, log out from other devices, continue, invalid password. So, okay, I entered the wrong password. Let me try it again. Log out from other devices, continue, password updated. So if I refresh this page, as you can see, I'm still logged in. But if I go to incognito and refresh it, I'm logged out. Hi everyone, this is In this video, we will implement a password change implementation that we will also log out other sessions once we change the user's password. So we will prompt an alert. We will say, there are two more sessions. Do you want to log out from these sessions as well? Thanks, Yash Jaiswal, for this recommendation. It's actually a good idea. So let's do it. I'm in the main branch, which we have implemented username and password authentication with Lucia out. And I have uh, set up my DB with this script. You can grab it from Redmi and paste it in the local, which we have set up a local PostgreSQL container, which is our database. And then I have run the project. And you can see that if I go to 3000, we have a username, a password authentication. Let's sign up like this and account created successfully and I'm logged in. I will open up a new incognito tab and go to localhost 3000. I will log my account once more. We are trying to simulate like other device or other browser here, right? So I'm signing in successfully. So I have now two open session and if I go to there is a studio here, I can see that I have a user, but in the sessions table, I have two sessions, which is fine. If I refresh here, my session will be there. And if I refresh on this incognito, my session will stay there as well. So I will quickly create a new component for forget password. And I will define a function here. Okay, that's great. Let's go to ShedCN's website here and I will go to form here and then I'll go to examples here. Let's copy it and paste it here. So our form schema will be password and confirm password and a new password. That's great. Let's go to next step and we will import Zod resolver and use form like this. Let's copy these functions as well. For the default values, we will say password empty, confirm password empty, and all of them is empty, basically. And we will implement this in a bit. So let's go to UI. Let's copy this return statement and paste it here. And of course, it warns us to import the components. We are all good now, right now. So I will make this password, password. Let's get it of this one, type password. Then I will simply copy this form field and paste it twice. One of them will be confirm password. And the last one will be new password like this. That's great. Then I will go to my page, which is my home page. And for now, we won't have a dedicated page for it for a resetting password. So I will import this component like this and we should be able to see a form such as this. I will make this spacing too so that it will look better. Everything seems fine. Let's create a server action that will update the user password. But before that, we should be also sure that password and confirm password matches. If I go to form schema and I call refine here, this function will return if this password match with confirm password. And we can also pass some a message like this. This is great. As you can see, pass, we get password do not match error, but we should check this in the server action as well. Let's create another one. Reset password, reset password, actions.action.ts. So we will say export cons reset password, I have created another file is because I will open up a new branch and push it here so that everyone can grab the code from this file without going into that actions and look for the related code. That's why I did this. For the form schema, we have actually a types folder here index.ts and we can export it from there. Reset password schema like this go back to our forget password tsx, import this new schema, 
and everything seems fine. Great. And I will also import this here as well. Let's import Zod. So we need to validate the form inside our server function as well. So we can use this code block here. Each schema has a function parse. And if it does not parse successfully, it throws an error and we return this error here. And we can make this like this. I, I, I started using this approach, which seems to be more developer friendly. So I don't check for success and error, but I check for success. And if it's false, we show this. I, I know this will be a, an error message. Anyway, so if we pass this condition, that means that we uh, the form has validated password and confirm password matches with its uh, with their selves, and we have a valid a new password. After that, we will encrypt the new password using argon2 here. We can hash a password like this. Let's import argon2 import as argon, sorry, as argon2 from argon2. This should be new password. We have a, a hash password right now, which is great, but we will also need to have the user, right? We can get the user with validate request function like this, and we should await if user is not exist. Let's return success false message user not found. At this step, we have a user and we have a hash password. What we will do is call DB. Let's import DB and update. It expects to pass a table. We will pass our user table and we will call set function here. For the hash password, we will give our new hash password. And we will also need to have a where clause to update the correct user's information. And we will use equal from drizzlerm and we will say user table dot id equals to user dot id. That's great. And we will return success password updated. I will wrap this whole function with a try catch block. I will return success false and error message inside our catch block. So we have a reset password right now, which is great. Let's go to forget password component and on submit, we can call reset password and pass our values into that. Let's make this a sync function. And if rest.success exists, we can call our toast description. Actually, it, it's not dependent on the success value. So we will show, show a toast, whether it's a success or not. But the dependent about the variant will be based on success like this. But we don't have a success right now. Let's use default and descriptive. Okay. That's great. So let's try it. Here I must say use server. Let's check. String must contain at least. Okay. Password is not matching. So it says password updated, but I entered the wrong password. So I actually forgot to check one thing. We didn't verify the user's password. After getting the user here, we should verify the current password of the user. Um, and how we can do that is we should grab the existed user from database, await db query user table find first, where we will use equal table dot table dot id, and I will pass user dot id that we get from the session here. Uh, we can't use this user because it doesn't have hash password in it, and it shouldn't be, by the way. So here we have existed user with a password field. Now we should check verify if the given current password is matching with the password of the user. We can use a, a tools a verify function. It expect a hash and we will pass our hash password and then we will pass we'll use that password like this. But before that we should return an error if the user is not found. Okay, since we didn't define hash password as not null, it gives an error. But in our tutorial, I know uh, an hash password will be there. So I that's why I use this exclamation mark, but you shouldn't use that here. You should put not null 
in your schema. Anyway, so let's assign it to a variable like this. And if it's not exist, let's return an error, invalid password. So let's check. I entered the wrong password and it says invalid password. Password not matching. And I entered the correct password and make it a different password. So it says password updated. That's great. But if I go to, let's change it once more, password updated. Okay. So if I go to, if I go to here, this one was uh, incognito. And if I refresh the page, you will see that I'm still logged in, even though I won't be able to log in if I don't know the password, a new password. And here, before updating it, we should ask user if they want to log out from all all sessions. So let's make it for that. We won't call this directly, but we will use a new component. It will be a dialog. So let's install this from ShedCN. I will paste this command and it will add alert dialog component into my project and it's done. I will import these component, components from this pad. Let's copy this example and paste it in our forget password component. Let's wrap them with a fragment. And you may also want to move this into another page, like our homepage or, or forget password page, but I won't do it. And this is too much. We will get rid of some of them. So we don't need to have a trigger. So let's remove it. Let's say update password here. Do you want to log out from other devices? One of them is continue and other is cancel. So let's go back to our app. I click this. Nothing happens because we should give a property to alert dialog. So it's open for that. We will have a state like this and the default is false. And we will pass this into alert dialog. And also we will use on open change function and we will give set open function to it. Then I will also go to on submit function, call set open and I will make it true like this. Now, once continue is clicked, we will call this one. Let's make it async function on continue. And we don't have values anymore. So we will use form that get values like this. And I will go to other dialogue action, click, and I will pass on continue function that we have created here. So let's see what happens here. I will click continue and it says invalid password. Let me add one more submit continue. And it says password updated. We didn't log out from the other device yet. So we can actually see that it's still there. We didn't give an option to not log out from the device. So maybe we should have a checkbox here. So let's install checkbox from ShedCN. Quickly import it and go to alert dialog. And let's use checkbox like this. Okay, let's flex item center gap two and Okay, it's better. I'm I'm sh I'm sure you will uh, you will make this UI better. But anyway, so we have a checkbox. I will add a new field here, which is log out from other devices, and I will get an uh, error. So we will change. We will need to change the type as well. I will go to here, and it's a boolean. So now the error is gone, as you can see. Then I will go to checkbox. We will use on checked change props and it gets the value it's a boolean make it type boolean and we will call form set value and we will use other newly defined variable here log out from other devices and we have a stringify values and i have logged all values just to see what has changed or what is not changed here i will hit submit and you can see password, confirm password and new password and also newly created field log out from other devices. But even if I click on this, it doesn't change. So in this case, I pass some options to set value and should validate and I will set it to true. And each time we set a new value, it will validate this field right away without waiting a change. So as you can see now, my 
value is changing as I click on this checkbox. Great. Let's get rid of this string, stringify log. And based on this, I will go to reset password action. Now, if I hover on values, I see log out from other devices here. So let me scroll down a bit. What I will do is after updating users password, I will delete all the sessions, session table where session table user ID equals to user ID like this. But that means that our users, the current users session will be also deleted along with this one, this incognito one. And that's why we need to create a new session for the current user and set it to set it into cookies. We already know how to do it. So I will just paste it here. So and we will create a new session using Lucia's create session function. And we will pass existed users ID. And then we will create a session. We will use cookies from next headers to set this a cookie. So perfect. And it should work. Let's try it. Let me refresh this page and also refresh this incognito. Here, I will update my password, log out from other devices, continue, invalid password. So, okay, I entered the wrong password. Let me try it again. Log out from other devices, continue, password updated. So if I refresh this page, as you can see, I'm still logged in. But if I go to incognito and refresh it, I'm logged out. Uh, it's because we have created a new session and set it in the cookie for this session. But here we directly delete this session a database, even though this incognito tab has some cookie session before I refresh the page. Uh, when I refresh it, Lucia look for this session cookie when it doesn't find any uh, corresponding session key inside database. Uh, it just uh, removed the cookies. That's how it works. That's great. And we can also add a new logic to it so that if new password and old password matches, we don't allow them. We can actually do it in here, refine. We can have another refine like this. And if I enter same password, it says new password must be different from the current password. This, yeah, it, that's all. Thank you for watching. And I feel really happy when I see your comments below the videos. Uh, it feels amazing to help you. And I also learn new things while uh, recording these videos. So that's a win-win for us. Uh, anyway, if you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And this was Ur. Uh, take care. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.